Hello and welcome to Fract OSC. Uh, this is a... I don't really know what kind of game it is. I mean, it's obviously first person. It's some kind of audiovisual musical puzzle game thing. That's about all I know. Everyone said it was great when it came out, but I didn't play it. And so I'm going to play it now and find out. Lots of... Uh, Abstract shapes? I think it wants me to go that way. So what's this? This is all locked. Maybe this is a level select or something. It says 01. Oh, there's another way here. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, that's the same. we have here? Right mouse button. It's a lift. Video's frozen. Oh, there we go. We are in some kind of polygonal landscape with glowing blobs. This is, uh, looks quite neat. Can't jump. That's my only disappointment. First person games should let you jump. There's some towers. What's over here? Towers just lit up. I guess see another station there. It must be for that tower. What did lighting this one up? Did it do anything for this in particular? No. I guess I need all three and then the middle will do something. I do like these these uh, geometrical shapes and glowy lights and stuff. It's very pretty. Not quite sure about the little constant moiré effects, and uh, I imagine that's going to look kind of hellish on uh, YouTube once, or probably looks hellish on the stream right now. Uh, but it looks it doesn't look too bad on screen, but it's a very high frequency kind of detail. What do we do here? Okay. Close two things. We have the green, the blue, and the pink. And the central thingamajig has cast an enormous beam into the sky. Get back up. All right, and uh, I'm guessing that's going to take us up to somewhere else. We still can't get up there. 
Oh, it's coming. It's everything's moving up. I guess we follow one of these. I'm not talking a lot because I don't know what to say. It's just lots of sounds and visuals. I'm just sort of drinking them in. Teleporting or floating to here, which is back where we started. Um, right, it's the first travel system, I guess. It has lots of symbols when I interact, and I don't know what they mean. I guess that's all the different hubs, so that goes back to the central hub, and this is where I am right now. We are at the pink line. Is it a line? No, it's a little line with beveled edges. Alright, uh... What is that, the pink line? What's up here? What's up this ramp? Can I get that? Maybe. What's one of the ramp? No, I can't climb it. Alright, what is what is this building about? The Palace of Pink. Yeah. 
So lift. What do we have? Oh, I see. The pathway. But where does this take us? things up this way. And that's all lit up. Maybe that's important. And that's back where we came from, but... Uh, it kind of... It glows. Oh, it's... Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Make and it's suggesting that pattern. 
Visualizer or is this meant to suggest a pattern to me? No, oh, it's getting closer to the bottom. We could just do. This one doesn't quite get there. sounds, but uh, rather opaque in terms of what it wants out of me. This one isn't active yet. This, this one. Like I am. Because 
is that's reacting to the music I'm making. But am I supposed to have it lit up all the time or what? I don't know. Go back down the left, I guess. I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something here. Down, please. Very opaque what things can be interacted with and what can't. And also where you can go and where you can't go. I guess it's supposed to be kind of abstract freeform thing, but it's feels like it wants something from me and it's just bad at communicating what it wants. Rather than feeling like a landscape I'm free to explore because I'm kind of trammeled by being stuck in walking around on the floor. What's through here? This looks shiny. I can't interact with you. Wyvern, Wyvern, ah, another passage. We are in Greenland I think rather than Pinkland now. What is... what are you on about? I can't go in. And you don't have 
controls, okay. Looks like a door, but it, if it is, it's shut. We're back at the cliff edge. Once again, feeling lost. Let's try that side passage in the uh, cavern. It's off to the left here. Where does this take us? Uh, I mean, I could jump. I don't. You know, I don't think I can die in this game. I don't know how anything really works, but uh, let's see where this, goes, where this takes us. Apart from down. Obviously down. Uh, down a long way. Down into the glowing radioactive neon green. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we're meant to be there. All right, we're back at the Palace of Pink. Which I can't figure out right now, so we're also back at the transporter. So let's follow a different path. Let's try blue. Since uh, Magenta was not helping us, Cyan may be better. Transporter here, so at least I can uh, fast travel back. So it's now it's unlocked. Good. Uphill or downhill? Oh, I see a guidepost this way, so maybe this way. I'm kind of following these posts. Past more buzzing towers. Two. Well, I guess following those posts wasn't any use. I mean, these are probably something I need to do something with at some point, but right now I can't do anything with them. So, uphill. important. What's this? Oh, it's another fast travel, okay. It's got no controls. Let's keep going up. We have... Well, this is definitely an important machine of some kind. There's look at all these symbols. You don't have symbols unless they're important. And indeed, I can muck about with them. It's pipe dream. Well, that 
was clearly a solution. Let's see where that's unlocked for us. Just in time, pal. Wait. We have another secret here. I want us to start with B3. So the sequencer is here is a has a clear thing that it needs to do is opening these doors. And I can presumably get through if I time it right. If I time it wrong, I'll be crushed. I have unlocked base modulation one and base step sequencer. been previously to these two. Something that looks important but doesn't appear to be anything I can interact with just yet. Uh, let's go this way, it looks tempting. Big red lights to draw my attention. Definitely a thing. Another fast travel. Just check the map. You're at Blue Diamond. Oh, look at this. It's another one of these uh, laser battle. Two of them, in fact. What have we got? Where's the on off switch? Some VU meters in the middle. Uh, it doesn't appear to have an on switch. Oh, wait. already partly on. That's getting in the way and these two cables are not lit up but one of them is so we need all, all three active I guess to make a bridge. That's, that's in range, that's out of range. That's out of range. I don't Meters don't seem to react to anything. Oh, it's a filter. Oh, my God. 
Okay, so they're in range, they pass the signal on, okay. Check us down. Alright, we have a cable thing lit up. So it doesn't matter that these ones are out of range because I've got my signal through there. Okay. Well, look, there we are. Nope. Those are all lit up. That's lit up. What am I missing? Shouldn't matter that these two don't aren't turned on because I get the signal through there. All the way through here, it comes around there. I can tweak that a bit, it's got take that right off. The signal dies, right? I take that one off. Cuts off. Cuts off the glass. That one's out of range, but it doesn't matter. These ones are lit up. That's got signal. This got signal. But turn that off now, we're missing one of those three, and we're missing. Uh... Oh, what happened to the one that's coming up the top here? Oh, okay, it's so that. Right? So that goes in there, but I can't. Interact with that, and I can't stand on this. I need some kind of bridge or pathway in. Maybe I shouldn't feed the meters that don't work. I don't have a choice about this one. I can't get it in range with that, no matter how I tweak it up there. Oh! Oh! Right, so it doesn't matter about these out of range meters, though. Just for. I like it a little bit better that way. So I can summon platforms here. For a moment. Alright. Yeah. Cut this straight across. Alright, here we are. The next one we have signal coming across the lake. And here, that filter's in range. We have another filter control with two valid ranges. And signal that could go through either of those through two more controls. How does this work? Okay. It's all lined up then. And another sequencer. Of gates. Okay, so this one doesn't give us any hints, but we can figure it out, right? Okay. Whoops, timed that wrong. Okay, so that last gate isn't opening in time, right? That's not good. Now we don't have enough notes. That 
looks like it'll work. Yeah, the path is clear. Space modulation 3 unlocked. Right, that's uh, another energy channel going off to somewhere in the distance where I can't go just yet. So. Out here. So I don't really, still don't really know what I'm doing or where I'm going or why. I'm not sure I can get back through those gates with the, the settings I had them on, but uh, oh no, they're, they're staying open now. Okay. How do I unlock it? What's this thing? Is this a? Can't interact with it. Well, it does light up in interact mode to say diamond, which is kind of where we are, and one out of five things completed diamond? I don't know. I don't know how to interpret this. I should see if there's another way forward from here, rather than back across the lake. I don't think I'll stand, I can stand on that. Oh yeah, we just took a shortcut here. We are a blue diamond. I was lit up, does that mean... I don't know what that means. Does it mean we did the puzzle there? We kind of did a few puzzles. We didn't complete a pink puzzle, I don't think, so... Let's try going to... Wait a second. I don't know how we get to uh, pink triangle or pink pentagon, but let's go back to pink circles. Uh, blue, rather. And see if we can do something about it there and light it up as well. So a signal coming in from somewhere else, I guess. So I didn't even find a control panel here, did I? Maybe it's in this thing. What's this thing? Can't see uh, any controls. We have a link. We have this uh, raised platform, which is presumably where one would seek to find the controls. There's a red archway there, it's just where I followed to get to the other place. I guess I haven't been that way. Have I? What's all this about? Alright, there's a pathway or something that continues on there, but it's not active. We can't get up there. Have I been there? That's... I don't know. I definitely went that way. Let's try going this way. That's must be where we came from though, because that's the fast travel. Or maybe not. What's this? Well, that's a, another glowy thing source that's turned off. Okay, what's here? Oh, it's another rare uh, sequence there. Wait, have I been here? I'm getting deja vu about everything. Okay, we've got another wall. There's nothing powered on this side, I think. Are we going to turn it on? Yeah, we can, okay. So we need to get coming down. 
Oh, there. Right, that's active. Let's let's get that active. straight through there because this is in the way. Can't just that one. So we've got this T junction here. Well that's not gonna help us get it anywhere except down here. I can't tweak either of those. I'm missing something again. What am I missing? Where's our T-junctions? Two signals. No, this is in the way. I'm gonna signal going up, I'm gonna signal going down, but that's can't can't get two signals going across, and even if I could, where does this go? Alright, actually we can get uh, we can get two from here. We can split one layer, one there. Okay, so we can send these different directions, I guess. Yeah. Our synthesizer, uh, our sequencer rather is unlocked. Let's get these doors open. We have door two, door four, door one, that'll be door three, right? One, two, Three, four. I think that's possible. Whoops. Don't fall off entirely. No, that's not right. Maybe? Alright, it works. Base modulation do a lot. Right, so that's another zappy beam. So which which puzzle was that? That was circle, I guess. It's the circle puzzle. Let's check the fast travel and see if it says circle is now unlocked. Or glowy. No, it's still not lit up. There's a difference, I'm looking at the difference between uh, the symbol being lit up and the circle being lit up. The actual circle is the fast travel, and I think the symbol means the puzzle. Oops, because here we got 
Oh no, that doesn't make any sense, because this one would be turned on and I haven't even been there. Oh, I don't know. How does this work? Everything seems random. Alright, now we've got a bunch of power all coming in here. Is this actually active now, somehow? Let's, have, let's go upstairs and look. Oh, there's a new passage. The blue passage is open. Let's just actually try that. So we've been to the red passage and the pink passage. And there's a blue. That was the one that was previously I looked at and wasn't able to get at. So that makes sense that that's the next step. That's we're at the Pentagon, and it's two out of five. That's my rating for the Pentagon as well. You know, Pentagon sir. Right, here's another fast travel. So now we should have, yeah. Blue Pentagon. Not active, but the fast travel is unlocked, okay. Um, wait, can I just walk over there? Wait, is this where I came from? No, I guess not. We have another sequencer for doors. How do we get up there? This way, I guess. We have more pipe dream. Which side starts off with power? Here we go. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, that's no good. The filter's uh, out of range. Oh, I feel it's just in range. Okay, it is passing through. Well, that's lit up a thing, but not all the things, so... I'm wondering if we actually need to go that way. Because I'm going another filter. Control. Let's go bam pass. Uh, I'm missing something again. Oops. Split the signal here as well and get it to go there. Alright. That's out of range. Can I? That's not. This filter doesn't control it. Is that this one? No. This one? Aha. Uh -huh. That's not good. That in range, I can get that in range, but that one's out of range now. Wait, that looks more like an envelope control. Where's the signal going? Down. This needs music. Get 
that and it gets a signal, but what does it control? Nothing, because it's dead. world's most judgmental synthesizer doesn't care whether you're making sounds that sound good to you, it cares whether they are all exactly correct. For some definition of correct that it never explains. So that signal stops there. Wait, maybe we can get the signal, maybe we don't need that one. Maybe we get those two. Oh, that's gotta go down. No, it has to come in there. It has to come in there. This one is in range, this one seems to be out of range. So we need another control. I think on the path to this one. That doesn't make any sense, how do we do that? Let's go back there. Actually, that was feeding it into the four way. What's our input? That's our input. Oh, hang on. I see we now have another. Yeah, let's get this lit up either way. But ignore that way. Oh, this is confusing. That's in range, but we need to pass the signal down. Okay, we're in there. Why is it not going all four directions? It looks like it's four way, right? Is that affected by. Oh, we can't even get that out of range at all now. That's a meaningless knob. On the other hand, we don't need it to go that way because that's filters. So we come here, we'll get, let's get this one in range. Can we? No. Well, let's tweak this a bit. Ah, huh? okay. Both in range. Don't really have many choices for that corner, so let's turn this corner up and let's turn that one around. Now you're out of range. Wow, that's hugely sensitive. Uh, turn that down a fraction. That's gonna go up. We're still missing something, we still don't have a signal coming through to this thing. It could either come in that way or this way, I guess. I don't see any actual arrangement of these pipes. 
thought would let it come in from this side. And the only way that seems to come in from this side. You know, we can get them all lit up that way, but then we miss out on this one. So that needs to be another choice of uh, signals. But can we get a signal back? I guess. If that one feeds up there and down there, then we can feed it back. And then we have a forward feed through here. But it doesn't get up to that. But we get it to that one. Do we have redundant feeds here? Um, well, that's certainly redundant. Let's switch it off. It's not confusing me. That's. Right. That goes through a control, but doesn't go anywhere useful, okay. But without getting that down there, do we have a... Is there another way to feed this with the setup that we've got? That can be fed from any side, so it could be fed from this side. When you fed from that side, it has to... Well, that's not good. That would be... That's a loop. We can get a signal over to this side of the whole thing through this line or this line. And this line becomes that one. And does have a fork, so we could get two signals out here, but we're missing this one. Let's just let's see what happens there. We don't necessarily need this meter. So we have a meter that's out of range here, and another meter with its own controls, and two valid ranges. We can come down here and feed the four way. Well, again, we're, we can't get this. We can't get this unless it comes through there, right? We can't get this one unless it comes through there. Everything's out of range. the sensitive there. We turn that right down. Okay, we still get feed here. Then, well, doesn't matter how we tweak that. It's immediate filter is in range. Oh wait, we well we can feed the four way straight through there, but it doesn't matter because the only places of any use is going down. So we can ignore that. Right, you're in range now. This one's way out of range. Can we get it in range? No, not like that. Let's tweak this up a bit. To either side of the range, but not in range. What if I tweak that? Down again. No, we don't even get there. Oh, this is really quite frustrating. I don't know what the intention here is, but um, just fiddling with knobs and waiting for dials to line up and, I don't know, walking around looking at the landscape was more fun. Or playing with the stuff to actually make interesting sounds is more fun, but not this. Just tweaking knobs until random parameters happen to line up is It's like the worst kind of minigame, to be honest. Turn that right off. I can't get that anywhere near in range. Let's turn this right down. Where can we drive that rightmost one to? No way. So that's. So no matter what we do with that setup, we can't get that one in range. What if we turn this right off? Make a difference? Probably not. Oh, okay, we can get it in range now, but now that one's out of range. And we're out of controls. I don't know where we can tweak that one, because it's tweaked by the same one here that's giving power. We can tweak that one, but again, the only adjustment we have turns off. And same here, we can't tweak this at all without 
turning it off entirely, right? Or maybe not. Well, let's, well, let's try that setup. So we can turn that down. Okay, that's on. Now that's too low. God damn it. I don't want to even wonder at this point what this game's saves are like. But uh, I'm betting they don't go as far as... I think they don't go as far as all the individual settings on all these knobs so that I can avoid this random tweaking next time. Well, I'm uh... Actually, we don't need to, we don't need to go up there at all, right? If we get there's only three pink things here, so let's let's ignore that top path. So now we've got a control right here. Let's just start with that. What about this? It can go up or down. It has to go up. But wait, then we can get down here. Let's switch off you. I don't want you. Switch off. You're confusing me. Uh, but if we're coming in here, we have a choice of up or down here. If we go down, it just dead ends. If we go up. It can loop around and, well, it can either feed into the top right or it can feed into this four way, which feeds across here and back around on itself. I'm not seeing any way that we can feed both of these. Do we need to? I don't know. Okay, we've got a thing laid up. Oh, we've got another power switch here. Let's just pull that in. Maybe that, maybe we don't need to worry about the pink things. Maybe they're just for effect. I'm going to move on and see if I can do anything with this puzzle now. So we've got a signal there, we've got another signal source here. Uh, well, that's kind of redundant because they both... I can choose one or the other, but I can't choose both. I guess it's not entirely redundant because there are different meter settings, alright? Where are we going here? Feed around there. Oh, you're out of range. What if I grab the other source now? It is in range. Okay, now we have a control. We can get that in range. Well, we feedback there for whatever reason. I don't actually think we need to, so let's just switch it off. Okay, we've got two more pink things. feed that way, let's feed it that way, okay. You're pointless. Actually, you're not pointless, you need to come here. We need to get you in range to feed that, okay. Tweak you down, okay, you're in range. Well, that seems to be the three... I'm gonna call them sinks. The three sinks on this side, all... hooked up, all firing. But that's not enough, because our door up there is still shut. So we, I think we do need to get the ones on this side firing, right? Just, looking at this, I'm, either I'm missing something entirely, I can't see a single way to feed both of these simultaneously just from the geometry of this, let alone everything else. Like, I just like shut it off entirely for now. Uh, this one has to be fed from this side, which means that's, that won't do it. That's the only configuration that will feed it. Uh, Alright, that will feed through both. So we come chasing backwards, we come that way, we come through there, or maybe through there, I don't know, let's look at this one. Yeah, alright, actually maybe we can. Oh, but what about this one? Now, how do we feed this one? I forgot that one. So we can feed those two, right? Once we, you know, tweak the knobs and get the... Get the randomness to line up in our direction. Wow, that's amazingly sensitive. But geometrically, now we're stuck on this one. All right, let's let's switch it all off again. For uh, again, trace back the geometry. We can get that round there. 
Or, that can come through here and feed that one. And something come through here to feed that one. That works, but can we get it through both the center and the top? The top only comes through here. If that feeds through here and is in range, that should power that. Which comes up there and then powers itself again. That doesn't help us with this, the middle path. That would power that one and this one. So the middle path has to come through here. Well, maybe I don't need the bridge anymore. Okay, so the bridge is still here, so maybe I don't need this powered up anymore. Okay. Which means I can get both, all three of these on at once, because that side, that side's still running. Oh yeah, right, so the bridge power, let me get across here, but now this is all running off its own uh, power source there. So it doesn't need this power source coming in. Great. Okay, so I think that's the answer. It's confusing. But there should be some combination of all this now that lets me power everything here. So it's really kind of get that in range. Now what can I tweak? Where's the power source coming from? Let's turn that down to the bottom range. Okay. That's too low. Doesn't matter, that doesn't need to pass power because we're going here. Can I get you in range? No. We've got to tweak, we've got to control here. Just out, out of range. All right, that's not good. Turn that right off. Turn that down a fraction. That doesn't kind of match. All right. Uh, now this one's out of range. That one's in range. Wait, we can pull that from there. Okay, now we've got a control just for that one. And uh, not quite good enough. Let's tweak that up. Something weird with the sound. Alright, top right is on, center is on. Uh, power is coming through here for this one, and that's, that's. There we have it. Okay. Doesn't even let us a second to look at our uh, solution, but that's all powered up on both sides. Finally! Okay, so the question of what were they doing wrong, I, you know, still don't really have an answer to, but. It was, well, it was not realizing that. I could power this side, get this side turned on with its own power source, and then go back and get that side all powered up. All right. Let's see where this takes us. We're gonna unlock another thing. Uh, more gates, yeah. Let's... That should be a lot easier. The gates are a little more comprehensible. Top track is... Gate two. Wow, that opens quickly. Second track. Okay, three. Third track. Okay, one. Let's get. Oh, that's going to take a lot, a lot of uh, signal to open. Okay, one. Opens on that. Okay, two. Get three. Should all open really easily, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think we're going to need power. All right, let's just. What does it take? What does it take to turn on gate four? A lot. But it stays open for a long time. Okay. So we do gate four, one, two, three. Looks like it works. Oh, there's a path down. Okay. Base modulation for unlocked. Oh, new pathway. So, right, it's been a bit over an hour. I'm just gonna do a quick reconnaissance here to see where this leads and whether this leads me to anything 
All right, so we have a control panel here for, I guess we have all of these four symbols now powered up in the blue zone. So it's gonna be a brand new puzzle, but I'm gonna leave this for the next episode um, and continue scratching my head over the opacity and interesting shapes and colors and sounds of Fract OSC. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you here next time.